In this video, I want to talk about the worst dating advice for Asian men. Just be yourself. The girl will like you because you're authentic. Just be yourself usually comes from people with good intentions, right? It comes from your parents or your friends because they know who you are. They know you're a good guy. So they tell you, if you just be yourself, the girl eventually will know that you're a good guy and you're gonna get a girlfriend. But the reality is, if you've been yourself for 23 years like I have, and you haven't even gotten one date or one kiss, being yourself hasn't worked. So what worked for me was, you have to learn how to express parts of yourself in an attractive way within the process of dating, meeting, talking, getting to know you, attracting, connecting. You have to know how to present parts of yourself along that dating cycle. Just like an interview process is a dating cycle of falling in love. So one of my master courses, First Day Formula, basically walks you through this cycle, whether you're an Asian guy or, or not, and the exact steps you need to take. It was a reason I created this course because so many people don't even have a game plan. Second advice, I got a lot of this from like my white friends. <laughs> Just be cool, bro. Just be cool. Like copy us, you know, get, get some sunglasses. Be cool, bro. Like. Lay, lean, lean back and be chill at the club, bro. Be cool. Being cool actually feels good because you're hanging out with the bros and you're just like chilling. The problem is when you're an Asian guy and you start talking to people to try to be cool, um, that type of coolness doesn't work for guys like us because what we do is we run into what we call unconscious social bias. So in other words, being cool is okay if she, you're familiar with her or she, you look familiar to her. But when you're not familiar with her and you try to be cool, she feels this like foreignness factor where she's like, yeah, she's cool, he's cool, but I don't see myself dating him. So what you do instead, you, you have to put in qualifiers that reverse this like unconscious bias that we have to people that look different than us. You know, I know we look like two completely different people, but wouldn't it be interesting if we talk for five minutes and just see if there's anything we have in common, right? Imagine saying that to her because right from the bat, you're acknowledging consciously that you're two different people and this completely reverses the frame of you just trying to be one of them. Instead, you're embracing the fact that you're different. And because you're embracing what's true, that openness, that, that type of truth-seeking and honesty opens a space where real attraction can be cultivated. So rather than you being fake, hey bro, I'm, you know, I'm a white fraternity bro, I'm just, a, you know, I look Asian, but I'm a bro, but you're not. So why pretend to be that when you can be something else and actually embrace it and reframe it? There, that's where the real attraction is being created. Continuing the conversation, I'll ask something like, hey, I'm just curious, you know, whatever the answer is, it's cool, but have you ever dated an Asian guy? If she says yes, I'll be like, oh, that's cool, that's interesting, and then I'll move on. If she says no, I'll say something like, wouldn't you like to know? Or like, you know, it feels like you're missing out. And if she's like, yeah, or she's like, no, not really. Then I know where she stands and I don't have to force, you know, the interaction. I know where she stands and I can be friends with her or I can move on to a girl who's actually attracted to me. Now, some of you in the comments might be like, well, it does work, it works for me. Look, if you're really in like a deep social circle and you have a really good friends who are not Asian, sometimes it works. But I can tell you that even when I, when I was really deep in these circles, it's really hard to achieve that. Um, and sometimes it's luck, like you grew up with them or you went to high school with them. It's not a skill that's replicable when you move to a new city and you have to start over from from beginning, okay? If you're an Asian male model and you look like Daniel Henney, who by the way is half Asian only, yes, anything can work if you're good looking. But the whole definition of game is your ability to persuade people, regardless of looks, money, or superficial external things, to actually convince and influence someone to like you for you. That to me is a definition of game. And to, the truth is 99% of us are not born like that. So we have to play the game in a way that where we can actually win. I created a course called Dating Without Borders that teaches Asian guys how to overcome that unconscious social bias. If you want to learn more, it's at datingwithoutborders.net. It's one of my master courses. I developed it because I, I was running into like one third of my clients being Asian and them living in Western countries, and they couldn't figure out how to get past this unconscious social bias, and it's a big problem. So check out that link, and there's a whole video where I explain how to get over this and some of the solutions. The course is optional. So check out datingwithoutborders.net if this is your current problem. You know, all that matters is what's on the inside that really counts with women, you know? And it doesn't matter how you look, uh, you know? And it's just not true. And then you have advice like, just learn game and you'll be fine. And it's like, not true. <laughs> People are judgmental at first in dating. 
Okay, this is just human nature, and, and if you don't accept that, you're just not living in alignment with the reality. Because people are judgmental at first, your style is really, really important, especially if you're a minority. So your style has to exemplify that you unconsciously, without saying anything, understand the rules of the game. And that's why I talk about dominance, eliteness, and openness in my style program. And I've noticed that even with good game, I can only get so far. But with proper style and proper game, I was able, I was, it was limitless. I could get into social circles. I could attract girls that were extremely attractive. So your style does matter. Your looks do matter. People are judgmental at first. But once you get past that barrier, if you can present yourself well, if you have a good first impression, then they get to know who you really are. Give them the chance to know who you really are on the inside. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. That's why I developed Seduce with Style. And again, I'm only pitching my programs because I built these programs because of the constant problems I was seeing across hundreds of clients, over 572 to date, of the problems that reoccur over and over again. Your style is the fastest thing you can change that has the biggest results and effect if you do it right. So if you want free style advice, you want to learn about the style attraction triggers that I discovered, go to high integrity skills slash style four. Okay, so these are the most common dating myths. I just had to make this video because I'm so sick and tired of people telling, you know, if you're a minority, just be yourself. Just be cool, bro. It's only on the inside that counts. No, that's not the nature of the game. And once you understand what the nature is, you can do something about it. You can actually achieve the results you want. If I'm wrong on any of these, if you have a different experience, I would love to hear it. As a coach, I'm also a teacher, but I'm also constantly learning. And in some ways, I'm a student as well. So if you have comments for me, if you have different experiences, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Like and subscribe this channel. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.